But just wanted to ask, how was the experience uh, filming on set of The Knights of Badass though? That cast was unbelievable. I, when, I, when I read who was involved, I just said, yes, yes, I'll, I'll be there. It was, it was surprisingly cold, even though it was supposed to be. It took place over one evening in the summer, and um, we, we shot all nights. And it was like it was like summer camp slumber party <laughs> with <laughs> some of the funniest guys in the business. I loved it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Um, first off, I'm a huge fan of Agents of Shield and Firefly. Um, and here's a question for all of you. I know Josh Whedon is known for his willingness to stay as close to continuity as possible. Uh, has he ever actually changed the scene while filming because he thought it didn't go with the character's own personal continuity? Well, um, 
we're all we're all still very very close, and we're lucky that we have these events where we get to see each other because uh, we can fly in for the weekend and have have reunions. I, I think that we, the, the the cast actually fit together kind of like a family. We had a family dynamic, and um, it doesn't happen with every cast. I've had I've had really good experiences, but. I will say that that this one, this one was really really blessed, and I remember because it was my first cast ever. Adam Baldwin came up to me. He, he was like he was like the dad figure, and and uh, always gave me great advice. He said, you know, "Enjoy this kid because it's not always like this." And he's, he's right. Yeah, but I, I stay in touch with all of them. I, I see them all regularly. Uh, right, okay. Uh, I'm, so, I'm listening. I just want to take a picture, okay? I'm listening. Uh, and there's a fly buzzing around us if you see everyone twitching up here. <laughs> uh, over here on the left. <coughs> my uh, question is for Summer. I understand you're going to be in an upcoming series called Sequester, which looks like a, more of a straight drama show. Could you tell us a little bit about the differences and experiences you had between doing drama versus more action adventure type shows that you you prefer? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They were doing it. <laughs> you all look great, by the way. It was, it was good, it was a good challenge for me um, to, I don't know, I, I think maybe you find this too, Amy, that, that uh, in science fiction and in genre and in, in action, there's just really good opportunities for, for girls. Really great, well-written, complex, surprising uh, characters for us. Be too Um Loved out. <laughs> uh, but this this role in Sequester was was a wonderful challenge for me. Um, even it's it's a it's a kind of a law thriller, and with my character. Uh, she seems to be a girl next door, and then you find out early on in the in the series that she's in a really, really extraordinary, uh, challenging situation. So she really does get to step up and, and do some pretty extraordinary things. So, so for me, it was challenging, and it was it was a wonderful, wonderful role to be cast in. And uh, I think everybody's going to like it. I don't know, has it? I don't know if it's come out in Canada yet. I think I think it has. It's on Crackle. I think I think it I might think, be available. Yeah. The the second six episodes I believe are supposed to be coming out in October or November. They have a really interesting way of it's a digital series. It's my first time I've ever done that. <coughs> the way that they release them is different. Are they going to release all the episodes at once? They released the first six, nice. and now the second six are coming. So um, please check it out. I where really can we see it? it? Where where can we where can we download it? You can see it on. Um, Crackle, which is Sony's digital channel, um, and there's all kinds of um, outlets that you can access Crackle too. And if I could work my remote control, I would be able to show y'all how to do it. But it's on Apple TV, and um, Roku, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yes, how do you know? Oh, you're so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, we have less than five minutes, so we'll try to get through. But we probably won't get to everyone. So you're on the right. Hi, my question is for Summer. Uh, do you have an exclusive call with us? Submitting agreement with DC or can you go Marvel one day? Because August and Amy have chosen the right side, so I was wondering if you could. No comment. <laughs> okay, so no comment. <laughs> I, will, I will note that I was a villain on Arrow. So. so. I have the same kind of contract. <laughs> uh, the left there. Hi, um, this question is for Amy. Um, I was wondering, in Once Upon a Time, I noticed the similarities between your character and Fred, and I was wondering if you ever worry about getting typecast. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I feel pretty lucky because I feel like I've gotten to play, I, I mean, I guess this is kind of what Summer was talking about, but even like on Angel, I felt like I got to play 15 different characters 
in one because they've changed, you know, the characters evolved so much. Um, but luckily, since I was doing Once Upon a Time at the same time that I'm shooting Person of Interest, they they seemed so different <laughs> that, uh, that it, it's I, I haven't felt too worried about that. But but it's nice to I, I, I guess more worried that I would get typecast as being a crazy person like. Seems like Summer and I have problems <laughs> with people thinking we're crazy. <laughs> we're really good at crazy. Cool. Not for everybody. I want to be crazy. <laughs> okay, I see two more people up that night, and then we'll have to wrap it up after that. So here on the right. Hi, my name is Fred, and we don't look anything alike. <laughs> uh, question is for all of you. Is there an actor or an actress that you haven't worked with that you would just love the opportunity? Can I just say this? I'm really excited about meeting Mads from uh, Hannibal this weekend. I am from Hannibal, and um, I think he plays the role so well. I haven't met him yet, but I'm really excited about meeting him. But uh, and I would love to work with him. That would be amazing. But I would love to work with Daniel Day Lewis. So I can find out just how bad I am. <laughs> my, my favorite actress, uh, and my favorite modern actress, is Juliette Binoche. So I just love to just stare at her on set. <laughs> I, I, I would, I've been my my latest obsession is the American. So I think I'd choose Carrie Russell. <laughs> Let me put Angelina Jolie on my list too. <laughs> and Halle Berry. <laughs> Beyonce. Oh, awesome. I think, is that it for questions? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I lost track. Go ahead. Uh, my question is for Amy. What was it like working on the set of Grimm? Oh, it was. Grimm was great. Um, my, my biggest lesson I learned in Grimm is that in Angel, Jay and I won't be lucky. We never had to go and have the prosthetics on all day. And, you know, people would complain a lot about it being hot. And, and, and I was always like, wow, people complain a lot. And then I went to Grimm and I had prosthetics. And I felt like I should go back and give all those people presents or something. <laughs> because it was, it, was, it was really fun. But it was a lot of work being covered in, in plastic. and. Um, or whatever, it was plastic, whatever, whatever, latex, yes, yes. Um, but it was also super great because I got to work with David Greenwald from, who had been on Angel with us and kind of felt like a, a reunion of sorts. Well, thank you so much. And I think what's really great about all you guys is that you're all still super busy. So us fans can still see you on shows, on crowd, on everything, right? So it's really, really cool. I want to say thank you so much for coming to Edmonton Expo. I know people have been so excited to see you. And you guys are done. There's photos and autographs still for the rest of the day, right? So if you didn't get a chance to ask a question, you can come and say hi to these guys. And you guys keep saying thank you for coming. We just want to say thank you so much for having us. This is amazing. Look at all this. I mean, thank you so much.